So I got a new camera. I'm so, so excited to be unboxing and setting up my brand new Sony ZV-1. I will leave timestamps down below if you don't care about me talking and just wanna to skip to the unboxing. But quick background for those of you who don't know, I typically shoot on the Canon M50, which is a mirrorless camera. Basically that means you're able to change lenses out. But before that, I always had two cameras for the most part. I had my main camera that I would use for photos and sit down videos like this one. And then I also had the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II, which was my vlogging camera that I would take around if I was vlogging or filming me moving or doing things. Now, earlier this year, I went to Puerto Rico and for some reason, that camera started tripping out, it wasn't really working, so I got rid of it. And for the past like nine months, I've only had this one camera. I finally decided that I really, really need two cameras. Now, if you're just starting off, you do not, do not need two cameras. But honestly, I just need two cameras. And I really wanted a smaller vlogging camera again because going out in public, having a bigger camera that doesn't fit in your bag or purse is just not the most convenient. Next year, I have some amazing trips coming up and I just know that I like traveling light. So this is going to be my vlogging camera and who knows, it may even turn into my overall main camera, but we shall see I have heard so much about this camera but I am a Canon girl I have only ever had Canons I got my first DSLR I think in like 2015 2016 I've only ever had Canon so I am picking up the Sony and yeah, let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm so excited. So I ordered this off Amazon and I only got the camera. There's other accessories you can get with it, but I wanted to just get the camera to see what I think. I thought that I ordered it in white, but the picture's black. So we'll see. Let's go ahead and unbox this baby. And of course, I'm also making a TikTok. So if you don't follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I also upload reels. Why aren't you following me? Okay, I just did my nails yesterday and I'm not oh, about to mess them up. Open this upside down. It's so small. Okay, it is white. Better be. <laughs> oh my gosh. This camera is so small and light. I am shook. Okay, let's put the battery in. And I have read so many reviews that say that the battery life sucks, but I mean, it's a small camera. The battery is small, that is to be expected. It does only come with one battery and no like wall charger. It only comes with a USB cable. So I am gonna order some on Amazon because I definitely am gonna need at least probably like three of these extra batteries. Okay, let me set this up. So a couple of things about this camera that I forgot about, but it has a flip 
out screen. Now I have been a Canon girl and pretty much every, I think every Canon camera, at least everyone that I've ever owned, has a flip out fully oscillating so you can change the angle screen. I prefer that. If you've only ever had Sony, um, theirs typically flip up. And also the old vlogging camera I had from Canon, actually the G7X Mark II, was a flip up screen. I prefer a flip out screen, however, this screen is not touch screen, which I don't know why. I think the only thing that you can do touch screen is to focus. Kind of annoying, it's not really a deal breaker, but there is a knob on the side. So let me go ahead and finish setting up. Yeah, I mean, not having a touch screen for me is not a deal breaker. It will take a little bit of getting used to, but overall, I think it's such a small factor in everything else. So when it's recording, it has the little red thing on. So if you're vlogging, you can see yourself. I think there's a smooth, <laughs> a skin smoothing feature on that I can tell. Let me really quickly just play around with the mode because that was a little bit much. I think there is a skin smoothing feature. Okay, I turned off the soft skin feature. So a couple of things about this camera and why I got it. So the first being it shoots in 4K and also there is a built-in microphone at the top and it actually comes with this little furry thing. It's called a dead cat, basically just to get rid of some of like the muffly wind noises. And one of the things about my old vlogging camera, the G7X Mark II, is you could not attach a microphone and the audio was not the best. So this one not only has a built-in microphone that's supposed to be better for vlogging, you can also plug in and attach your own mic and there is a hot shoe mount, basically something that you can slide on to add attachments like a microphone. Um, the camera itself is so lightweight. I love that the screen flips out instead of up and then you can also flip it inward to protect your screen. As soon as I flip it inward, it also automatically turns off. And just the video quality, this camera was made for vloggers in mind. And so let me actually set up some test shots. I'm gonna put this little, I think it just attaches on. Okay, so I was struggling because this um, cover on the hot shoe mount was not coming off. It's hard to do with nails. And so this is just the cover for when you're not using it and it just like pinches and slides off. And then the wind muff slides on and this is just to prevent some of like the muffly wind noise. It looks kind of funny, but it's, super small still and if you guys notice this canon camera that i've been filming on is having trouble focusing one of the things about this camera with vloggers in mind is that it has a feature where if you put a product or something in front it will instantly focus on that you move it away it goes back to your face so i'm gonna set up a side by side and see how this shoots and how it sounds Okay, so here's a side by side of the Sony ZV-1 versus the camera that I've been filming on, which is the Canon M50. And I definitely do notice a difference in color, um, but I kind of like the Sony one. The Canon seems a little bit more vibrant, but the Sony one seems kind of more true to what actually it looks like. Um, is this zoomed in? How do I? Okay, so I'm so used to um, mirrorless, not point and shoot. So where even is, oh, there's, I forgot where the zoom is on point and shoots. Let me make sure it's zoomed out all the way. Okay, so the, 
wideness of the shot um, my Canon M50 definitely is a little bit wider let me test out the product feature let me get closer so I can see so it has eye tracking just like my Canon so for vlogging it's really important to make sure that you're in focus let's see how this product focus feature works okay so I turned the setting on for product showcase so let's see so it's focused on my face <laughs> oh my gosh wait that is crazy okay it focuses so fast versus the Canon focused on my face boom boom it's oh <laughs> Okay, so that is amazing right there. Guys, I need time to play around with this camera, but I'm already so impressed by everything. Um, and also when I go back to edit, I'm gonna look and see what the audio quality is like, but this is just with the built-in microphone. So let me actually try it attaching my microphone that I typically shoot with, which, <laughs> This is my Canon M50 without a microphone attached. This is just the built-in camera audio on the Canon M50. This is the Sony ZV-1 with the built-in directional microphone. This is the Canon M50 with the Rode Video Micro attached. Um, I think I'm actually saying that mic name wrong, but this is the M50 with the attached shotgun microphone. This is the Sony ZV-1 with my attached shotgun microphone. I went back to record this because the first clip, I don't think the microphone was plugged in all the way, but this is what it sounds like with the Rode microphone attached. So I'm definitely going to play around with this and do a really more in-depth video about all the features and also another video just comparing it to my Canon camera. But so far, I am obsessed. It's so, so lightweight. For size reference, here is the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and then this is how big it is. So this can fit in your pocket, fit inside of a purse. It's so cute. I've never had a white camera before, but I kind of love it, and I'm going to play around with it, but there are so many other accessories that I think I'm going to buy. So with a point-and-shoot camera, whatever lens the camera comes with is what you're stuck with. Okay, so closer up to the camera on the side there is a jack for a microphone um there's a hdmi and i believe this is a mini it just says multi and then on top you have your hot shoe mount which you can attach a microphone other attachments to a flash oh one thing is this does not have a built-in flash not really a big deal for vlogging but you could um, buy an external flash and attach it there the directional microphone on off button the only thing that i just noticed is that when you put on this wind muff it does cover the on off button a little bit this is to change your shooting mode. The record button on top is amazing. All my other cameras, or my previous one, it was like down below. This is to take photos. Also, the knob is to zoom. And then this button will automatically blur or defocus your background. And then here we have our screen that flips out and rotates. And then this dial is basically to control everything. So you can move it to scroll. You can also click up, down, left, right, and click the center. And then there is a button for function, the menu, to playback, and then to delete. And then of course the bottom is where you put your battery and SD card slot and then I believe, oh I'm so dumb, this is to attach it to a tripod um, and then also it comes with not me losing the cord. And then this is the charging cord to charge it. So again, it doesn't come with like a plug-in wall thing or another one. And look, this camera is not focusing. 
So this is a sample photo and in my next video I am going to go more in depth with a full review but look at this camera quality. I'm actually impressed. If you zoom in you can literally see every single pore. You can see my eyelashes. So, so far my first impressions are it has really great photo and video quality. Okay, so a couple of quick things about the camera. It's 20.1 megapixels. The lens is 24 to 70 millimeters. So the only disadvantage to point and shoot cameras is you're not able to switch out lenses. But for vlogging, honestly, that is fine. I did see on Amazon an attachment that actually works with this to make it a bit more wide angle, gets it down to 18. So I might buy that. Other things, it has background to focus. It has a directional mic. Um, and then it shoots in 4k. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna play around with this a lot more I'm so so excited. It's super cute. I don't know guys I might end up making this just my overall main camera for sit-down videos and vlogging and just use this Canon for photos But we shall see um, I'll link down below where I got my camera from and let me know what do you guys think about the test footage do we like the Canon or the Sony better? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.